Hey what's up guys, it's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD and welcome to another HD tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you guys how to download and install a Mozilla Thunderbird theme. And this right here is Mozilla Thunderbird itself. It happens to be an email client obviously made by Mozilla uh, where they offer add-ons where you can, you know, change the theme just like Firefox or any other web browser. Uh, and this is, you know, where I do answer all my emails. This is my YouTube email central. I do answer every YouTube uh, email question, comment, and thank every single new subscriber. Uh, so this is, you know, this is what I, they, they, this is basically my hub, and uh, I'd like to, you know, spice it up visually, so I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install a theme. So I'm going to go into Firefox right here, and basically, uh, to find a theme, go ahead and search uh, Thunderbird themes, uh, if you can spell it correctly, and the, uh, the first result will be addons.mozilla.org, and that is, until now, uh, as of today, the only place I recommend you get uh, Thunderbird add-ons. Uh, and here we're going to go, um, you can just pick a section. These are the recommended add-ons. So, I'll, you know, I'll just pick one of these, the Arrow Thunderbird add-on. But obviously, you can pick from the side compact ones, the modern ones, etc. Uh, basically, what you want to do is follow the instructions that pop up. There are three very simple steps. And I'll be able to show you guys how to, uh, you know, how to go through these steps real quick. All you have to do is hit the Download Now button and Firefox will say do you want to open this up? All I want to do is save the file because opening it up obviously isn't installing it so we're just gonna save the file hit OK it's gonna save right to our desktop and if it doesn't save to our desktop I'll show you how to move it there or at least to move it to a memorable place so some sort of uh, place where you'll remember it where you can always have it and where it will be installed to Thunderbird so here it is it is a .jar file so opening it won't do anything Hit the open containing folder button and it'll be highlighted and I'm just going to take this and drag it to my desktop and just let go. So now Arrow Thunderbird, that add-on is on my desktop. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of this and Firefox. So now when we go ahead and open up Thunderbird again, this is where we're going to have to find the add-on and install it. So go to the top and go to Tools, Add-ons, and here's the Add-ons window. And in order to install a theme, go to the Themes tab, Install and find exactly that place where you had the add-on. So um, in this case it's on my desktop, scroll down, there is Arrow Thunderbird, double click it, and it happens to just just go ahead and say, you know, do I, uh, do I accept this add-on, you know, will it not harm my computer? Hit install now. And obviously installing a theme will require Thunderbird to restart, so that button will be pressable. Just go ahead and restart Thunderbird and it'll restart but the theme will not be applied so you'll see right here it opens right back up in the standard Thunderbird theme so I'll go ahead and go to tools and add-ons again and click the theme that you want to apply tick use theme exit out of Thunderbird again and restart it one more time and that theme should be applied and this is actually the first time I'll see the theme along with you guys oh, kinda nice looking you know so yeah, this is how you download and install a Thunderbird theme. So if you guys are interested in using Mozilla Thunderbird, I highly recommend it for anyone who uses email. I am very serious about this. I am very glad I picked this over anything like Outlook. Uh, it does have a calendar client built into it thanks to an add-on. has a tasks list and everything. And now there are themes. So thank you for watching this uh, HD tutorial, guys. I hope it was helpful to you. And... Uh, you know, just go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. I, Like I said, I'm glad to answer them. And that is basically it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.